Hello everyone, I'm Marina and this is Sacramel School. How to transform white nails with a coating if the client flatly refuses to get gel extensions. I will tell you a few tips and tricks on how to correct such nails visually. Watch the video till the end and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the new ones. Let's take a look at the main aspects of working with white nails. Usually, such nails have a triangular cuticle line, and in order to visually narrow down the nail plate while doing the manicure, we need to work carefully on this part. They are called sinuses. The shape of the cuticle will become more rounded. To achieve a great result in these areas, place the drill bit a bit diagonally. We are working on the skin, not the nail. And in order to avoid injuries, don't hold the drill bit for too long in one place. The first main aspect is the manicure. If you do it, you will see how the nail plate will change visually. Let's get to the practice. I will do a manicure and will pay special attention to the sinuses in order for the nail to be fully coated with gel polish and visually narrowed down. I use an orange stick to carefully separate the cuticle from the nail plate. I pay special attention to the sinuses. After this stage, the cuticle line is not so triangular anymore. It becomes more rounded. Just what we need. I use the flame drill bit to lift up the cuticle. Look how I pull the cuticle and process the skin and the sinus thoroughly. I'm working not on the nails, but on the skin. The drill bit is placed diagonally and smoothes the skin with its side. I switch the direction of rotation and cut the right side of the cuticle. And I'm still pulling it away. After I've lifted it, I buff the nail plate. To test yourself, you can open the sinuses again with a stick. If you see any defects, the sinuses aren't open enough, you can take the e-file and process the skin again. I will cut the cuticle with scissors. And I polish it with a big sphere bit. The second aspect is the shape of the nails. We should choose narrowed shapes. Like the oval one. If the client wants a square shape, then we can narrow down the nail plate a bit by removing the side walls. Be careful when filing nail growth points, so that there are no rough edges. I'm going to shape a free edge and make it oval. By the way, you can see how to file the nails correctly in my video. I will leave the link in the description box. I find the shortest nail plate and start filing from it. With long moves, I smooth out the corners on one side and on the other side. Then I put a file under the nail and check the lower parallels. This nail is easy to work with. Let's take a look at the middle one. I remove the lens. Since the nail is wider, it is possible to slightly increase its lens by 1 to 1.5 mm. In order to narrow it down visually, we need to file these areas. I'm making long rounding moves. Be careful at the nail growth points, so that no bumps could appear. Mm -hmm. 
Note that we can't make the nail wider than the width of the nail from one gross point to another one. Always put the file under the nail and check the lower parallels. Turn the client's hand away from you and check the symmetry. Dehydrate the nail plate. Look, after the manicure and shaping, our nails have already changed greatly. My model's nails are pretty hard, but the free edge still splits. I will apply a primer to improve the bonding. I'm applying the base and align the nail plate. Make sure that the material does not spread too far to the sides, because it's going to expand the nail even more. And the third aspect is the coverage. Before applying the color, we will need to push the sinuses with an orange stick. And we will try to paint them as much as possible. But the sidewalls can be left unpainted. And we will try to paint them as much as possible. But the sidewalls can be left unpainted. This will allow us to visually narrow down the nail plate. So, our main task is to paint these areas better and make these ones look narrower. After curing the base, I push the cuticle with a stick. I open the sinuses to paint them better. An important aspect of coloring is that we have to paint the nail plate correctly, paying special attention to the sinuses. I will additionally paint them with a thin brush. I paint under the cuticle with a thin brush and go into the sinuses. The sidewalls can be left a bit unpainted. It usually narrows down the nail plate. Here's a little triangle of the natural nail that I don't paint. This will make the line look straight and the nail not extensive. The second layer of color is also applied with a small gap on the sides. I cover the entire nail plate with a top, including the sides which are not painted. If you don't cover them with a top coat, the base will lift in these areas. Let's add a design, but be sure to choose those that will elongate the nail plate. I've chosen a geometric design. But the lines should go along, diagonally, but not across. I draw thin lines with gel paste without a tacky layer. And sprinkle some acrylic powder. Thus, there will be a velour effect on the lines. At the end, I will add rhinestones. I put them on the gel base card. That's the result! Do you think we succeeded in transforming this nail type? If yes, give the thumbs up! Success in your work!
बाय बाय